very good morning to you all. We are going to start with a new chapter, 8 cart and wheels topic, circle. You will be learning about circumference, center, radius, diameter and code. This is video number 1. As you all have heard about carts and wheels. Yes, cart is a vehicle to transport goods and all things which you can see with the big wheels and small wheels too, right? So here we are going to speak about wheels which is round in shape, right? So these things you can see around you, series, cartwheels, dart, earth, and ball, football, plate, button, speed, water, down, and all these are round in shape, either it might be a 2D or 3D shape. Now, let's see how to draw a circle with your free hand. Can you draw a circle with your free hand? Let's do it. Okay. I'm just drawing a circle with my free hand. Just try drawing. And then, can we draw a circle? Can you draw a circle to with uh, where you can trace? If I am just asking you to draw a circle, a big circle and a small circle, how do you draw it? Yes, you have. I have some of uh, my items with me. Look, I have small button, a bigger one. Then I have a double T. Now, if you have a bangle, if I am just trying to draw a small circle and a big circle, how do you draw it? You can trace using your bottle cap or a bangle or if you want to draw a bigger circle, you can draw with a container. Now, I am just drawing the small thing. I am just tracing so you get a small circle. Then with a bit more bigger buttons, I'm just drawing, taking the shape of it. I'm getting a bit more bigger, right? The same way you can draw with any object which is circular in shape. Now, let's see a figure. We have two boys. One is fixed to the center, the other boy to the other end. So I have given two names, center and point, okay? And the center boy should not move. Okay, that's a game. The center boy should not move. The, po the boy, which is called the point, it's going to take a round, which is not in a correct way. He's going to move randomly. Okay, so if the boy is moving, look, I'm just buying the center boy. Okay, and this po boy point named point is moving randomly okay he is moving randomly like this okay will you get a circle no he is moving randomly it does not form a correct path it's just like it will be different you can't form a circle look the boy is moving randomly the boy over here center is fixed it doesn't have any change the boy here now he is moving randomly here and there. Look, he is moving randomly here and there. Will you get a correct shape circle? No. And look, and if he is keeping a fixed point and then taking a turn, it's moving towards circular part, then we just get a circle, right? We just get a circle. This bar is moving to a same circular path. We get a circular path. Okay. So here the center and the point, the distance between the center and this point on his circle is called its radius. If the boy is moving randomly, will you get the same radius? No. So the radius of the circle should be fixed. Okay. The radius won't be changing every time for a figure. When you are taking a circle, the center should be fixed to a certain point which should not be moved. And the point 
the boy should move in the circular direction where the radius will be the same throughout okay if he is moving randomly you will get your regular radius radius over here when you take a certain distance over here you will get a, a like 5 cm when he is moving this side you are getting 6 cm like that you are getting different so when he is moving when he is forming a circle you can't call it as a circle if it is moving randomly so to get a circle what you have to do yeah you have to go in a correct circular shape in which the radius should be the same throughout the circle now this is called from the center point to this point of the circle is called radius now when the boy started moving through the circular path through the circular path those length of the circle is called its circumference the length of the circle is called its circumference now this is called radius okay and double the radius if i am drawing one more line towards it you get the radius okay so let's see with her let's see with a circular shape i have drawn a circle and right now what i'm going to do is that yeah i'm going to draw this is a center point can you all see this is a center point from there i'm going to draw a straight line from the center point to the circle okay now i'm just drawing one more okay now just check with your scale and check with your scale look here the center is you get the uh, center as six okay now if i am turning the scale yeah this is also six centimeter so the radius is fixed toward the same circle the radius should not change if you are changing the radius you won't get a correct circular okay now so this from the center point to the set line uh, to the point on the circle is called its radius you call it as radius r a d i u s radius okay now now if this is been this radius has been doubled if i'm drawing i'm drawing the double line of this radius you get it the straight line passing through the center of circle is called a diameter now just check and see look i'm just taking a scale now let's see is it double yeah double the radius it's 12 centimeter double of 6 is 12 centimeter you get double double the length of radius is called its diameter so you can draw as this is the diameter diameter now here the length of the circle is called its circumference okay the length of the circle is called its circumference now we are going to learn a new term co called code which you can like if i am drawing two points look i am randomly drawing two points over here and here now yeah, I am drawing a straight line segment joining these two lines which is called code what do you call it as you call it as code C H O R D you can draw anywhere on the circle which it touch one point on the circle and the other point on the circle two random points on 
circle wherever you can draw but it should draw join a straight line segment joining two points which is called code okay so let me draw another one from here I'm going to draw another one. Look, I've drawn. So I'm going to draw another one. It's a straight line. Join. Okay. So this is also a code. You can draw as much as code you want to draw on a circle. Okay. The only thing is that it should join from one point to the other point, and it should be a straight line segment. Okay, now can you tell me which is the, let's find out, I have drawn two codes, okay, as we move, let's see which one is the biggest code in the circle. Let's find with the help of a scale, now as you see over here, you can see this is uh, exactly like 10 centimeter, okay, 10 centimeter. As we move up, it goes on increasing at a certain point. Look, at the middle point, at the middle point, it is 12. And as you move up, it starts decreasing. Look, so the biggest line on the circle, the biggest code on the circle is called its diameter okay now let's see the definition for each of the points a circle is a simple closed curve the length of the circle is called its circumference center of the circle what is meant by center of the circle the center of the circle is a point inside the circle that is same distance from each point of the circle the point should be same throughout. It should not move here and there. Then it cannot form a circle. Radius. What is meant by radius? The fixed distance between the center and any point of a circle is called a radius. And radius is double the length. Radius is half of diameter. How do you find radius? Radius equals to how do you find radius? Diameter by 2. Okay. And diameter, what is meant by diameter? A line segment passing through the center of the circle whose end points lie on the circle is called the diameter of the circle. Look, a line segment passing through the center of the circle. It's passing through the center of the circle whose end points lie on the circle is called the diameter of the circle. And how do you find out the diameter? Double the radius. So, 2 into radius. And here, radius, how do you find? Diameter, half of diameter. Now, code of a circle, the code of a circle can be defined as a line segment joining any two points of the circumference of the circle. You can draw from any point of the circle from the two points, the line joining two points on the circumference of the circle is called its code. Okay? I hope it's clear for you. Now, in next class, we will learn how to draw a circle. Thank you. Have a nice day.